What uh, advice do you have for people who are just starting to learn programming, who don't have professional experience and they, well, they're just starting? Um, uh, don't, don't get distracted by the noise. Um, mm -hmm. Like there are a lot of developers out there who are very opinionated, who might seem a little bit pushy. They might not even realize they're being pushy. They might be bossy. They might not even realize they're being bossy or, or, or hostile even. And they don't know. And that's that seems to be something that just exists in this wor in this culture. And uh, just try. <laughs> we're we're trying to make it better. I I I believe we're trying to make it better. Just ignore the haters and build your thing. Like just try and build a thing. Build something small. Start small. Get it so that you've you've built something, and then even if the code, if you think like, oh, I wrote the worst code ever, you built a thing and that's cool, and um, and now build something a little harder and a little harder and just build up. But the most important thing is to start. You have to start somewhere and don't be afraid of starting. Starting is often the hardest part. And if you're watching this and you're going, I don't know if I could ever be a programmer. I could never work at Yandex. I could never work at Mozilla. I can't work on Firefox. We all started from somewhere. And I know people who switched out of like – like they were doing something completely unrelated and they were just like, you know what? Screw it. I don't like law. I'm going to make a – I'm going to start programming. And then they like – like two years later, now they're working at so such and such a company writing software. You know, like that can happen. But the most important thing is is to start. And there are lots of great resources on the internet. Um, so like the Mozilla Developer Network is where I'd normally point people because I've got my Mozilla hat on. Um, but like uh, that will tell you things about JavaScript and the web and HTML and CSS. And there's like I think developer.mozilla.org is like a great starting point if you want to learn web technology. There's an also a, another great resource called khanacademy.org where um, if – if you want to learn like basic programming, basic concepts, the fellow who invented jQuery works there, and he's been helping. His name's John Resig, and he, uh, I'm pretty sure, like there are interactive uh, tutorials on how to like do ba basic programming and get yourself started. There are things like Code Academy, which I've never used, but I heard good things about. Um, there are lots of resources, but the most important thing is to try. And I know a lot of people out there are like. Maybe they work a day job and they don't have time. They're exhausted by the time they get home. There's like, ah, I don't have time to try and learn how to program. You, if you can solve problems, I think you can do it. Like, I believe in you is what I'm saying. I think you can do it. You just have to ignore all the noise that, that's out there and just try and build a thing. And, and forgive us for our crappy documentation. Maybe help us make it better because the documentation <laughs> can be pretty bad. But like um, – Try and fight through it, and I believe you can do it. There are great communities out there. Our Learn Programming, the subreddit, is a great community. Uh, ask your question. Someone might have a really good answer that, that can help you out. And if someone tries to hassle you and say, uh, I mean, you're doing this all wrong. You're going to be a shitty programmer because I'm on Stack Overflow and your way sucks. Ignore them. Ignore them. Like, Just get, get it built. Get a thing built, and, and you'll learn. And and listen to other people. Listen to their criticism. But if people are being jerks, uh, don't let that be an ex don't let that be your reason for giving up. Like, try not to rage quit. I know it's really hard to rage quit, or it's really hard sometimes. And it's very easy to rage quit something like programming, but just stick with it. Because once you know how to do it, like you're like a wizard. Because you can, like these codes that we type in computers are like spells, and you can do all sorts of crazy things. Like you can make you can make a Facebook thing. You can like you have all of these powers, and your ideas become manifest in this thing that you're typing on. You can do it. It's just you you have to go through the sort of bullshit Hogwarts stuff to learn like how to become a wizard, Harry or Hermione or whoever whoever you are out there. Just like get started is is my advice. So I don't know. I I got on a soapbox there. I'm sorry. Um, but this this does um bother me at times that some people in our industry think that, well, you have to be doing this since you were six years old, or you have to be like programming since a really young age if you want to ever have a shot because you're competing against people like that. And that is not true because I know plenty of people who have been programming from a very young age and they're, they're okay. They're pretty good, but they're not like the best in the world. Similarly, I know people who've been playing hockey since they were really, really young and they still play hockey for fun, but they're not in the NHL. Like, Yes, it's good to learn when you're young. Maybe that like you get some fun fundamental foundational stuff. But like, if you just start, if, like you just need to start. And if you're 
you're 10 or if you're 30, all you just need to do is start and then you will build from there. Just get that kernel started, that little snowball so you can build in yourself into someone who can like build things, a wizard, a witch, whatever, whatever you want to call it. question about learning programming. So there are many people who just who are just starting to learn programming and um, who don't have many professional experience, like, who, who, or I'd rather say who don't have a professional experience at all, who are just starting to learn programming. Do you have some advice for such people? Hmm. That's a good question. I think my advice for those people is often... Um, you know, try to write code as often as possible because, mm -hmm. like, you you really, I personally I find it really difficult to understand things um, unless I'm like actually doing them. Um, and and for me, writing code is important for learning. But additionally, I think like it's a very good skill to, or it's very good practice to read other code. Um, and open source projects are great for allowing you to both write and read other people's code. Um, but I think like just reading code by itself isn't enough. I think reading code with a goal in mind is, is the best way to practice in my mind. And that's where you say, I, if you have an open source pro program that you use, it's great to be able to say, I want to figure out how like this particular feature works and then like dig into it and figure out, like figure out the code that makes that, that feature work and just like reading with a goal in mind helps give context for the things you're learning. Uh, there are people who are just starting to learn programming, and uh, what advice would you give to people who are just starting to learn who don't have uh, professional experience and basically no access? I have no idea. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe just go like find somebody who knows about code or something. I, maybe that would have helped me. I don't know. Like my, my dad uh, is a systems administrator so, and he has a computer science degree. So I'd, I'd ask him questions a lot and that really helped. Mm -hmm. uh, that, yeah. So find somebody who knows more about technology than you and constantly pester them. I think that's, that's the best advice I can give. I don't know. <laughs> There are people who are just starting to learn programming. Uh, like uh, they don't, they're just starting to learn, so they don't have a uh, professional experience. And um, there are many such people. And what advice would you give to those people on how to learn programming? On how to program in general? No, how how to learn programming? How to learn programming? Yeah. Um. I personally, I think that you should start out with uh, if you if you don't know anything about programming at all, use an IDE because it gives you immediate feedback. It gives you the pop-ups. It gives you really helpful tool tips. It doesn't require almost any configuration. You know, they you know mm -hmm. IDEs are not easy to set up a lot of times, but uh, I would say that they're easier to set up than, you know, something that is really open-ended like Vim or Emacs. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, that feedback loop is like really important for learning, in my mm -hmm. opinion. That's how, that's how I learned. I learned in Visual Studio. And that really helped me understand the relationship of objects and the properties on the objects. You know, I press a dot and I get this menu of options. And then I fill it with these parameters and it reacts in this. And then I can, I can at least get immediate feedback on, on valid syntax um, and valid you know, types. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's very difficult to connect, at least for me, if, if the feedback